I have to first give a shout out to my dear friend Beth Norman Roberts. This technique is one that I found on her blog and um, she's part of the Technique Junkies group and she always inspires me and she's always visiting my blog and leaving lovely comments and I just adore you Beth. So this is one of those techniques that when I first saw it um, my jaw dropped and it is so so cool. So. Without further ado, for this technique, I'm using our glossy cardstock from Stampin' Up! Now, this is retiring. It will not be carried over in our 2019-2020 annual catalog that begins the beginning of June. Um, today is May 9th, and I just checked, and uh, this glossy paper is still available, and it's while supplies last. Now, I know that we can use our Whisper White cardstock for this technique, but I will tell you the glossy technique is it's just adds an extra wow to this so uh, if you like this technique grab yourself some glossy cardstock uh, all supplies by the way will be posted on my blog my May 10th blog at serenestamper.com alright let me get showing you how this cool technique comes together so glossy cardstock I just took an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock and I cut it down at five and a half by four and a quarter for each piece okay so I've got four pieces and um, I only need one per card but I'm gonna be using different colors on them and I might mix them up so I thought I would just do them all all at once so here is a little template because once we um, stamp and color our paper we are going to cut it into bits and pieces so this template I just copied it directly from Beth's template on her blog and um, I will take a photo of this and post it on my blog as well so uh, you will need that for this technique. So the first thing you want to do is sponge on color. So these are our in colors that are also retiring and um, I just want to get a little bit more use out of them, a little bit more love before they are gone for good. So it is our Tranquil Tide, our Powder Pink, Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst and Fresh Fig. So I'm probably not going to use them all on the same one. So you could use our sponge daubers or you could use our Stampin' sponges for this. I'm using, uh, you could even use our sponge brayer actually, but I'm going to be using our Stampin' sponge. So you get three of these in a package. And then what I'm going to do, and this is what I always do, is I cut them into six pieces. So I cut it right in half and then I cut them like that. Okay, so I thought the camera was running when I was sponging all my color on and it wasn't. So I'm going to do uh, another piece and then I'll show you the first four that I did. But I've just got my sponge and I'm in my Tranquil Tide and I'm just rubbing it right onto the glossy cardstock. And um, I'm just kind of going all in different directions, no real rhyme or reason. But I am trying to be careful. I don't want to leave like blotches or um, just, I want it all just kind of blend in nice and soft. And then I'm going to go in with a second color. So just get some more of this on here first. Maybe a little bit here. Okay. Um, so for the next color, I think I'll do Berry Burst. Find my sponge, there we go. And start filling in those spaces. And I'm kind of blending into the blue as well. You can make this as dark, as vibrant as you want. You can make it soft just keep in mind we are going to be stamping with black on top of this so you don't want it so dark that you're not going to see your stamped images I'm going to add a little lemon lime twist in a second and if I'm going to do that I better stop or I won't have any room for it
you could use just the two colors you could use the three colors but like I said a second ago I'll show you what I did when the camera wasn't rolling okay so there's there's my sponged on background so that was using the Tranquil Tide, the Berry Burst, and Lemon Lime Twist. This one was using the Fresh Fig and Tranquil Tide. This one's a little bit softer. The Berry Burst is a little more pronounced, but I use Berry Burst, the Powder Pink, and Lemon Lime Twist. This one's just Lemon Lime Twist, twist and Tranquil Tide. And then this one is Lemon Lime Twist, Fresh Fig, and Berry Burst. So I've got all kinds of fun backgrounds okay so here's where the magic begins I'm going to start cutting up my pieces first of all so I'm just gonna hit start with the one that's right on top this one right here okay so I've got my paper trimmer and I'm gonna use this as a guide now I used my Stampin grid paper to help me draw the lines for my um, my cutouts so this is right here this is one and a half so I'm gonna cut that first line it up at the one and a half okay and then I'm gonna cut my two mark uh, so this is my two by one and a half which is this one right here so I'm actually just going to as I cut them lay them on this paper so I don't um, forget what goes where okay so now this measures two and a quarter across and I want to cut one at half an inch so I'm going to line that here so if I bring this back in there's my half an inch by two and a quarter and here's my two and a quarter by one so I'm just going to continue cutting down as we go. This is actually two by three and I have two by two here. So I'm going to change that to three. There we go. So that will fit right on there. Okay, so I'm trying to move this so you guys can see and it's kind of shifted. But I want to show you, I made a mistake and it's still going to work fine. Get that there. These two pieces here are supposed to be one by one and a quarter each. And I cut it in the wrong spot. But as long as they all fit on the grid, they're going to fit on your card. So I'm not going to worry about that. So don't you worry about that if you make a mistake when you're cutting. As long as all the puzzles fit, all the pieces in the puzzle fit when we're putting our card together, it's going to be just great. So I've got some scrap paper. I have my card base. I'm using a Whisper White card base. So this measures eight and a half by five and a half. So when it's folded, creased at the four and a quarter mark, it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So because I am stamping on glossy cardstock, I'm going to use my black stays on because um, it'll stamp better because it's a slippery surface, that paper. So going to use that. Okay, I have pulled out a bunch of sets that are retiring and um, I'm trying to get as much use out of them before they're gone, including my lovely It's a Tree. It's my one of my very first ever stamp sets when I became a demonstrator. I love it, love it. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to use Best Birds, Fairy Vintage. This is a beautiful host set available until the end of this month. Petal Palette, uh, Dragon, Dragonfly Dreams, and all the good things. So I am going to start with this one. I'm going to actually pull this over so you guys can see the pieces, kind of. I know they're willy-nilly on there now, but you get the point of what I'm doing. So I'm using this stamp right here from Petal Palette. Linking it up with my black stays on. Get 
Okay. So I'm going to put that back. Then I've got my little guy here. I'm going to use this one from my very vintage. So I'm using all different kinds of stamps here on this card, which is so much fun. Put that on my block. super pretty it's always a surprise how this is gonna turn out oh it's such a pretty stamp I'm gonna miss this set my leaves I'm gonna use my dragonfly I think on this one He's pretty stained. Pretty well loved this one. And stays on just so you know. Um, doesn't work that great with photopolymer. However, that's what we're using. See? Memento would have been better, but that's okay. It's on there. I'm going to I'm going to stamp this little flower This one I want to stamp a sentiment on that so Find one that fits in there nicely with what I've got here I'll do one of the best things in life is you which is part of the very vintage so I put a little chapstick on my block so my clear stamp stays on. And I'm going to put that in the center and I'll stamp something along the top and bottom. I'm going to stamp the doily. As a tree, take this one here, and I'm going to ink up my middle tree. There's my tree, perfect. I know we have gorgeous. Um, stamp sets that also have trees in our new catalog but you guys there's nothing like lovely as a tree that's a fact all right what else what else have I got here I think we're gonna use this one I am gonna use memento on this this stays on just doesn't love photopolymer and then I'll just have to really make sure this is dry otherwise it'll smudge on this I'm gonna go that way. Ugh, see? It smudges. It's not as crisp as the um, stays on, on the glossy paper. And then the only one I haven't used yet is a stamp from All the Good Things. I'm gonna use the little flower stamp. Okay, so now I am going to um, sponge all the edges of each piece and then glue this to the card. I love how this is coming together. So I want to use the darkest color that I use on this particular piece. And the darkest color on that is the Berry Burst. 
So I'm going to pick these up. You want to make sure your ink is dry, which it is. And now I'm just going to sponge the edges on every piece. So I will fast forward while I do this. Okay, all the pieces are sponge, and I've decided two things while I was sponging. One, that I better make sure my fingers are clean, so I'm actually just taking my Stampin' Mist, and I'm going to take a paper towel, make sure my fingers are clean, because with all that sponging, you don't want to get ink, which inevitably ends up on your fingers, um, smudging the bits and pieces. The other thing I've decided is instead of just gluing them directly onto my card base, I want to glue them on a piece of um, separate Whisper White. So this measures four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, so that if I have to trim it down, I can because I want to make sure it's going to fit on my card nicely. Okay. I'm going to slide this out of the way. So you can see how this is going to look before I even put it on the card. And I mean, if you wanted to flip things around like that, you can. Let's see what the dragonfly looks like upside down. Nope. Definitely up. Okay, so now it's time to glue it down. So I'm going to take my liquid glue and just start placing them down. You could use any adhesive that you want. I'm using the liquid glue because you can wiggle them around a little bit as you need to. So I'm kind of working from the top down. I got a little bit of a gap in there, but I don't think it's very noticeable. How cool is that? So there is just a tiny bit down here that I'm off a bit, so I'm just going to trim that. Okay, so I've just cleaned up those edges a bit. This is such a fun technique. I'm going to go ahead and work on the other cards, and I encourage you to give this a try. It really, it's so cool, and it's such a fun way to see so many different images on one card. Really, really cool. Try it with different colors. I can't wait to hear how you make out with this. If you give it a try, leave a comment down below, and thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. Happy stamping! So I hope you enjoyed this technique. It is really, really fun. So I'm going to show you the cards that I finished after I filmed that demonstration. And some of these cards are using products that are new. They will be coming out in the Stampin' Up! annual catalog for 2019-2020, beginning of June. So you're going to get a bit of a sneak peek. So here is one of the cards, and this is using a new stamp set. It is called Sailing Home. It's beautiful. And you'll see I've got different colors. Um, some of the colors have the pinks and the yellows. Uh, what I did is I cut up two sheets and mix and match them on two cards. So wait till you see the second card. Oh, it's my favorite. This one is using two new stamp sets, uh, Good Morning Magnolia and Floral Essence. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. So I'll show you the other card again. So you can see how I've mixed and matched the two panels. So you get a variety of colors on the cards. And here's the card that I demonstrated in the video. And after I filmed, I added a little bit of bling and I also rounded the corners. This one's pretty. This one is using Lovely as a Tree, a new stamp set called Free as a Bird, Enjoy Life. It's got some sheet music stamped up here. So a little bit of everything. Um, really, really like how that turned out. And the last card I'm going to show you is another sneak peek of one of our new host reward stamp sets. And I am so smitten with this set. It is called New Wonder. And here's the card. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? So let me tell you a little something about this panel. When I stamped this, I completely smudged the image. 
and there was no way to save the side that had been all smudged. So I flipped it over and I stamped the little image and then I just colored it in and I don't know if you can see but I added champagne um, shimmer mist paint and I added bling and dazzling diamonds and it actually turned out pretty good. So I think that's such a cute card. So this is a really fun technique. I hope you give it a try. If you live in Canada and you would like to purchase Stampin' Up! products and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to help you. Just contact me. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Happy stamping!